Hello everyone and welcome to the onboard lights tutorial. Now onboarding lights is also a part of changing the name especially for rental houses or for those of you who want to change the name in the Astera lights to be able to identify them later. This fixture name can of course be set in the app and can be locked by the master pin and what you see here on the right side is also fixture number which can be set on the lights for a specific job to match what you have in your lighting console. If you want to know more about fixture number then find fixture number tutorial. So what is the master pin exactly? The master pin is something we set in each one of the lights. Normally if you rent them out, they maybe come back paired to another radio pin. Then we can do a master reset. Once we have set the master pin, then we can reset and pair in one step through the app. Also means that we do not need to blue mode all the lights individually, which also takes quite some time when you get back the lights. Once the master pin also is set, we also have the option to lock the fixture name into the fixture. Now, once you have assigned a master pin to all the lights, which we will come into a bit later how to do so, then we can go here to the app up in the main menu. Then we can go down to advanced actions and then we can say master reset lights. Now we have to type in the master pin that we changed all the lights to, press the OK button. What you will see now is that the lights, they start to flicker. So of course it's important to have the same master pin in all the lights. This can be done whether you have eight lights or maybe 200 lights. Once we have the master pin typed in, in the master reset lights in the app, then we can either press the enter button here on the light to reset it and pair it to the current radio pin, which is set in the app. Or if you have a lot of lights next to each other, maybe still in the case, then take this little remote control, point at the lights and just push the on button. Then we can actually reset them very fast and very easy. The first way to set a master pin in your lights is through the list of connected lights. This is also the manual onboarding which has to be done fixture by fixture. Now when we have the lights paired to the app here, we can start going to the list of connected lights which we see in the app right here. Let's just take the top one, press it, then we come to the light settings. In the middle of everything you will see master pin not set, touch to set. Then we can push it, current master pin by default is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then you just type in a new master pin and confirm the new master pin. This way to set the master pin in the lights through the list of connected lights will have to be done one by one. So you have to do it with the first one, then the second one. And once you have the master pin, we can actually tap the name up on top. Then we can say here down below, push the name, maybe say a sterile light number one. And when we want to lock the name, press this little lock symbol. Then it asks you to type in the current master pin then the name will be locked. But as I said, this is a manual onboarding, so it has to be done light by light, simply just going in, master pin not set, touch to set, and so on. Manual onboarding is a good way if you just have a few lights. If you have a lot of lights, onboarding assistant, which I will show you just in a few seconds, is way more efficient. A lot of you guys probably have unique stickers whenever you rent something out, it comes back, you can scan the barcode. We can actually, with the onboarding assistant, also scan the barcodes to give the lights internally the same name as what you have on the barcodes. Now, as I already said, when you have a lot of lights and you need to onboard them with a name and also set the master pin, then first of all, we need to pair all the lights to the app. Once we have the lights paired to the app, we can go to the main menu up on top, scroll down to advanced actions. Down below here, you see the onboard lights. Once we push that one, a little info box will pop up. Simply just saying that the default pin is one, two, three, four, five, six. And we of course highly recommend to change that to a personal one. 
it's also important that you don't forget this pin because as I said it's of course to reset the lights and pair in one step and we can also use it to get it out of theft alarm mode. Important is also that you don't give it out to any customers who shouldn't use it. This is only for the warehouse guys that can take it back, reset and pair and then charge it and then it's ready for a new rental. We have the lights paired so let's just push the yes button. First of all, we are going to type in the old master pin, so by default, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The new master pin, let me just choose 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3. Confirming the master pin, 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3. This is, of course, the master pin we are going to set into the lights, which is currently paired to the app. Now, if you do have barcodes on your lights, we can actually say here, scan barcode and push it on. This is more when we scan the barcode, the light name internally will also match the name which is on the barcode. If we just want to give the lights the name which is on the barcode, then we can press the send button here and a little camera will pop up. Let's turn the first light where I have my barcode, Titan 168, then just scan it. And now you can say name currently sent is Titan 168. Now to confirm this name in the light and lock it right now, we have to turn it here and simply just press the enter button like that. Now we have applied the name and locked it into the light. Afterwards, it's simply just keep moving on, find the next one right there and then simply just scan it like this and we have 100, Titan 153. Now to apply this as well, we of course press the enter button and so on. Just continue like this until you are through all your lights. If you want another name in addition to the barcode name, then we can for instance type in here Astera, then we can choose if the barcode we are scanning should be prefixed to this name or suffix. In my case, it makes sense to have it suffix. So we could, for instance, press send. Then we can take the light here and then we can scan the barcode. Then you will also see when we go a little bit closer, like this. Then we have Astera Titan 168. Again, to apply the name and lock it, press the enter button on the light. After we have locked the name and also changed the master pin, we can go back to the list of lights. Then you will also see the top one is Astera Titan 168 and the second line with the Titan 153. Now, if you don't have barcodes on your lights, you can type in any name of your own choice. Then we could, for instance, set and lock name with Astera light number one. Scroll down and press the send button. Then this one will be my Astera light number one. Again, to apply the name and the master pin, simply just press the enter just like we did before. Go to the light name here again, simply just delete the one, press two, and then on the next one, Astera light two, enter to apply this setting. And again, when we press done, we can go back here and you will also see Astera light one, Astera light two, and the other two lights, which we chose to have the barcode with is of course up on top. So this is actually the way to use the onboard light assistant. Now it is recommended to set this master pin on all the lights you just received, maybe a set of eight or maybe a bunch of Astera lights. As I said before, we can, when we have set the master pin in each one of the lights, even the manual onboarding or with the onboarding assistant, we can do a master reset so it's easier to take back in the warehouse. Also, if somebody changes the radio pin, have the theft alarm on, the master reset is also the way to get the lights out of the permanent theft alarm. The master reset, which I just went through very shortly at the beginning, is based here in the main menu. When we go down to advanced actions, we can go to master reset lights. Of course, again, it is important, guys, that you have the same master pin on all the lights you are getting into your warehouse because then the whole process is made easy. We just changed these four lights, which we had on the table, to the same master pin 111333. So this is what we are going to type in right here. All the lights with the same master pin will start to flicker just as you see here. So again, we can either confirm by clicking the enter button to reset the light or we can take the remote control just in case we have a lot of sets standing next to each other. Point it and push the power on button. Then we can also reset and pair the lights in just one step. 
This same procedure goes for if the light is in a permanent theft alarm, nobody knows the radio pin, you have no control. Use the master reset lights with the remote control or pressing the enter button on the lights. So that was everything about onboarding lights when you get some new Astera lights. Both the manual way but also the onboarding assistant. Thank you for watching.